Hey guys, this week it was Groundhog Day, so I was going to read the book It's Groundhog Day on Groundhog Day. Did I? No, because the day before we had a snow day. And Groundhog Day, I believe, is February 2nd every year. This is the year 2021, and it snuck up on me like it does every year. But sometimes in school, as in life, it takes you a while to get it together. So I'm going to read this for you today. You'll have it ready for next year. The prediction that the groundhog made this year was he did see his shadow, so that means six more weeks of winter. I always get that confused too, so if I'm wrong, you know, Google it, check me out. Puxatani Phil, I believe, saw his shadow, and it was snowing on the day that he saw his shadow, so I thought he wouldn't see his shadow because usually it's cloudy when it's snowing. So confusing. Stay tuned for the exciting story of it's Groundhog Day. There's friendship, there's drama, there's snow. There might be a little surprise at the end. Hey guys, I'm actually gonna read the book, It's Groundhog Day, inside on my couch. Read it to my doggy Bronson. Um, it feels like spring out there, but it's still winter. And, and the groundhog predicts there'll be six more weeks of winter weather. But it feels really nice, it's sunny. You could see in my backyard, that um, the only place there was still snow was in the shade. I'm gonna read this book in my lap because it's got little pictures. Oh, and Bronson might be in my lap with me. It's got little pictures and I like for you to see the words. It's Groundhog Day. It is by Stephen Kroll, illustrated by Jenny Bassett. And if I drop the, after I'd introduce you to the friends, if I drop their animal names, it's only because they keep repeating them. But I'll try to read all the words. So here it is. There's his friends. A bunny. There's a groundhog, squirrel, porcupine. This is dedicated to the librarians of Richardson, Texas, who talked me into it. I thought that was cute. Oh, it was, and uh, I like to tell you when a book is born sometimes. 1987, the year before I graduated from high school. Summer was over. Godfrey Groundhog was getting ready for his long winter's nap. Doing a little clean up around the den. He gathered lots of tasty green grass and hid it in his burrow. He mixed some straw with mud to stop a bit, to make a mound to stop up his doorway. When he was ready and the air was getting chilly, Godfrey invited his friends over. Friends, he said, I've got a hunch. When I come out of my burrow on Groundhog Day, I don't think I'll see my shadow. Hooray, shouted Sherwood Squirrel. That means we'll have an early spring, said Penelope Porcupine. Six less weeks of winter, said Reginald Rabbit. Okay, so I was right. Crouching behind a tree, Roland Raccoon was not so happy. Humph, he said to himself. An early spring means the snow will melt. I'll have to close my skin. Ski Lodge, and I'll lose lots of money. And there they are outside the burrow. He's packing it in. Godfrey Groundhog waved goodbye to his friends. He stepped into his burrow and pulled the mound out, pulled the mound of mud mixed with straw into his doorway. Then he got ready for bed. So he's going to hibernate for most of the winter. He brushed his teeth and put on his pajamas. He set his calendar alarm clock for 7.30 a.m. on February 2nd. Groundhog Day. Then he jumped under the covers and smiled as he went to sleep. Up above, everyone but Roland Raccoon was talking about spring. If it's warm in February, we can go to the beach, said Reginald Rabbit. Let's go buy some beach stuff, said Penelope Porcupine. Good idea, said Sherwood Squirrel. Here's Groundhog down in his burrow. I think that's kind of cool how the artist did that. While the three friends raced into town to buy their beach stuff, Roland Raccoon went home to sulk in his hollow tree. Humph, he said again. I hate spring. Those are mean. Winter came. Snow fell. Godfrey Groundhog slept on and on. Sherwood, Reginald, Penelope went skiing at Roland Raccoon's lodge. Wee! this is fun, shouted Penelope Porcupine. Not as much fun as the beach, said Reginald Rabbit. Skiing's better than the beach, said Roland Raccoon. Not when it's warm outside, said Sherwood Squirrel. Roland Raccoon frowned. He had to do something. He couldn't afford to have an early spring and warm weather. 
Christmas came and the friends had a party at Reginald Rabbit's. They gave each other presents and ate lots of good food. Then everyone went to Godfrey Groundhog's burrow. They sang a carol and left his presents in the snow because he's still sleeping. That's cute too. There they are exchanging their gifts. At New Year's, the friends blew noisemakers and wore funny hats. Happy New Year, said Penelope. Here comes spring, said Sherwood. Up in a tree, Roland muttered, not if I can help it. And then, before you could blink, it was February 2nd. Promptly at 7.30, Godfrey's alarm rang. He reached over and shut it off. He sat up in bed and stretched. It's Groundhog Day, he said. Time to get ready. Maybe I should set a calendar alarm and then I'll remember. Then he opened his eyes. He was staring at a face in a mask. Help! A burglar, Godfrey shouted. He dove back under the covers. Then he peered out again. Who is the burglar? Oh, no. Roland. Oh, it's you, Roland, he said. What are you doing here? Roland pushed Godfrey Groundhog into a burlap bag and tied it with a string. Then he pushed the bag out of the burrow and slung it over his shoulder. Oh, no. Dun, dun, dun. Godfrey Groundhog kicked and screamed. Roland, he shouted. What are you doing? Let me out. I have to look for my shadow. That's exactly what I don't want you to do, said Roland Raccoon. And Roland started home. And there he is with the bag over his shoulder. Whew. But he got tired. Godfrey wasn't heavy, but with all his kicking and screaming, he was difficult to carry. So before long, Roland had to sit down under a tree to rest. When he realized he was on the ground, Godfrey sat, got right to work. He gnawed a hole in the side of the burlap bag and scrambled out. But Roland saw him escape and tracked him down. Oh, sorry, knocked him down. Ooh, a fight in the snow. He dragged Godfrey Groundhog the rest of the way to his hollow tree and tied him to a chair. Then he went to fix himself breakfast. As soon as Roland disappeared into the kitchen, Godfrey began gnawing at the ropes. He bit through one and then another. He wriggled out of the rest and started burrowing through the floor. Oh my goodness. Because I guess groundhogs have good teeth and are good to dig. Oh, there he looked. He's digging down. When Roland came back, Godfrey was already burrowing into the ground. Roland started burrowing after him. I'll get you, Godfrey. Groundhog, he shouted. On and on went Godfrey, faster and faster. He's burrowing for his life. Oh, look, it's getting skinny. After so much breakfast, Roland could barely squeeze through the burrow. Every time he tried to go fast, he got stuck. Godfrey kept getting farther and farther ahead. And raccoons are not as good at digging and crawling underground as groundhogs are. He raced toward home. When he arrived, he popped up next to his burrow. His three friends were waiting. Where have you been? asked Sherwood Squirrel. Are you okay? asked Reginald Rabbit. We've been looking for you everywhere, said Penelope Porcupine. Oh, see, he popped up next door. He's got a new, a new uh, entrance to his house. I was kidnapped by Roland Raccoon, said Godfrey. He looked around. It was very cloudy, just as I thought. I can't see my shadow. As when it's cloudy, you don't see your shadow. Everyone got so excited, they forgot about the kidnapping. Hooray, they shouted and danced around in a circle. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Here comes Roland. Roll, a moment later, Roland Raccoon struggled out of Godfrey's burrow. Reginald saw him first. Get him! Get the kidnapper, he shouted. Roland dove back into the burrow, but Reginald, Penelope, Reginald and Penelope caught him by the tail. All four friends dragged him out and sat on him. Well, that's one way to stop him. Roland Raccoon burst into tears. I'm sorry, he said. I just didn't want an early spring. He explained about the snow and his ski lodge business. You can build a hot dog stand at the beach, said Sherwood Squirrel. Aw, that's nice. They're being very forgiving and trying to find him some solutions. But only after you're punished, said Godfrey Groundhog. You have to let us all ski free for the rest of the winter. Oh, you do have consequences for your actions, right, Roland? I'll do anything, said Roland Raccoon. For the last weeks of winter, the friends had a great time speeding down the slope. Look at them. Whoosh. 
bunny is almost off the page. Or is that the porcupine? That's a porcupine. <laughs> I like this. Then they all went to the beach. Oh, look. Bronson liked the book, too. I hope you enjoyed it. And this year was the opposite of this book because the groundhog did see a shadow. That means six more weeks of winter weather for me and Bronson to walk in. Hope it snows again. But I do love the beach. Look at that. And there's Roland with his hot dog stand. Oh, Roland. Thanks for turning it around, bud. All right. Hope you enjoyed this book. Thanks for watching.